We're back. Joining us for this segment, Tad Jones, Executive Director of the Will Rogers Museum, Memorial Museum, I should say, and Lee McCormick, organizer and ramrod of the upcoming film festival. Welcome to you both. Glad to be here. Thank it's going you. to be the Thank first you. time. We, we, we'll get to that in just a minute. First time for the festival. Uh, so this is going to be a big deal. But let's talk because I know there are folks new to the area who aren't familiar with the Will Rogers Museum. Can't imagine that. <laughs> Tell us about it. Well, it's a beautiful museum. It was built in 1938. You know, Will died in 1935, so a few years later, the whole country literally came together to build a memorial to this great man. And so in 38, it was built. Beautiful facility, an extension was added on in 1982. And uh, we're looking at doing some more things. We're going to be hopefully announcing in the future uh, some new projects at the Will Rogers Memorial, new buildings and things that we're very, very excited about with Dr. Bob Blackburn leading us at the Oklahoma Historical Society. Neat guy. But yeah, he really is. And a great vision, too, uh, for our museum. So um, we've been there a long time, but you know, Will Rogers has been gone a long time. And so you have a whole new generation of people that we're trying well, to now, introduce him to. I'm going to correct you there for just a minute. He is not gone. And I'll tell you why, why I'm saying that. You know about all that's going on in Washington mm -hmm. right now. Heads are exploding right and left. And more often than not, they do interviews in an area where there are a lot of statues. And I can't tell you how many oh, times I yeah. I've seen Will's statue back there mm -hmm. with his hands in his pocket looking down on the folks going, it just never stops. <laughs> yeah, I know. I watched one just last Friday. They had an interview, and there's the statue. And and still on all the channels, there will be somebody will send me a link and say, hey, you know, Will Rogers' quote was mentioned here or there. So they, you're right. They still throw his quotes out there quite a bit, and um, it's still out in the public. So people know of Will Rogers. They've heard him. They've seen him, but they really don't understand how big a star he is. So that's why we're trying oh. to get him into the Will Rogers Museum. And you know, Will Rogers' days used to be a huge event. You know, the whole state used to shut down and sure. come up here for activities and over the last several years it's kind of kind of waned just a little bit and we and we decided we're trying to find you know what thing can we bring people in to do what activity was tied into Will Rogers that people didn't realize maybe that he was such a huge movie star he was a star in every you know aspect but also a big movie star so we thought about this film festival and an opportunity to show off some Will Rogers uh, movies and also bring people Will Rogers is a huge encourager of people and uh, you know like Joel McRae who was an actor you know Will Rogers encouraged Joel McRae in acting and he, and he helped people uh, by giving them money and he encouraged all his fellow actors and directors yeah. I mean he was just that kind of a person so I thought this would be a great way you to know, one of my favorite Will Rogers stories has to do with a show he was at Rodeo, I guess it was, in, in New York, Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. And this bull got loose. Well, he, Will was known, you know, as a, as a great roper. I mean, he could do things with a rope and twirl them and just, you know, this was even before James Dean. So he takes a rope, corrals the bull, goes back to business. You know, and saved lives in the yeah. process. And was headliner of the New York newspapers, and that's what really pushed him yeah. up. And everybody wanted to meet this cowboy from Oklahoma that saved people's lives. Exactly. And so, uh, you know, who knows what was embellished in the story, but it doesn't matter. Will Rogers became a household name in New York right after that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, I, I tell you, you've got a lot of folks that if they haven't been, you need to go. You need to see what's housed in this museum and how it's on display and why Will Rogers is important not only to Claremore and to Oklahoma, but to the rest of the nation. It bears your taking a look. Lee, talk to me about the film festival. Well, we have over 40 films being screened um, between, well, Wednesday is our opening night, um, October 30th, and then the films will be screened Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and uh, then we have our Black Tie Award Ceremony on Saturday night, uh, complete with a Hollywood stuntman, Hollywood actors, filmmakers uh, hosting the show. And uh, the films are from all over the world. They're independent films. We have 14 categories, and um, it's going to be a good time. A lot, of, a lot of films to watch. Isn't it interesting that Little Claremore, Oklahoma, and I don't mean any disrespect about that, but Little Claremore, Oklahoma, has become kind of a focal point for show business. Mm -hmm. You got, you know, Green Grow the Lilacs, which became the play and later the movie Oklahoma. 
and the man that wrote it is from Claremore. Mm -hmm. You got Will. You Patty got other Page. Uh, Patty Page. Patty Page. Patty Page. Yeah. Uh, you have a lot of attention being drawn again to the Claremore region. Mm -hmm. You see any other young ones out there coming along that show promise? Well, I think so, and I think that's what this, this festival is trying to do is, you know, we're encouraging people. We've had uh, submissions from all across Oklahoma as well, and uh, we hope that they'll all come here. And just, again, that encouragement, that opportunity for them to get into movies and film. And, and you can do it with your cell phone. You know, there are people that can take films with their cell phone and make a movie and cut it up. And so I think that's just a great opportunity. We've got, you know, we've got C. Thomas Howe coming from the movie uh, The Outsiders. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's going to be a co-host for us, too. We've got a stunt man that was in the movie Black Panther. Uh, that's going to be here, and so that's going to be a lot of fun. So a few celebrities, and this is our first year, so we got kinks to work out, and, <laughs> and it's kind of overwhelming at times to try to put all this thing sure. together and get it coordinated. So if we can get through this first year and have, we've got a beautiful, beautiful trophy with a dog iron award here. The same people that did the Emmys did these. Explain what the dog iron is. <clears throat> this is it. If you could get a tie shot. Yeah, the dog iron is, uh, and this you can see it's a little shinier. This is the official one. This is uh, the first sample we got, but this is Will's brand. So uh, Will Rogers had a brand when he ran the uh, the ranch in where he was born in Ulaga, and those three years he had it, it was a it was a it was a branding iron was his the dog iron. So we thought that'd be a fitting trophy. It's easy for people to hold up when they win and give a short speech, and we just think it's a great great thing to honor Will Rogers and and to use as our trophy. I don't know. In, I know it didn't happen in my lifetime, and certainly it didn't happen before, with the exception of Will's death. I don't know of anybody else in front of the public uh, like, who was an entertainer slash writer slash commentator that was loved by both parties mm -hmm. that uh, when word came that he died, essentially it shut the country down. Yeah, Everything stopped. Even Wall Street ground to a halt to you know, pay tribute. Mm -hmm. Do you know of anyone else that that uh, that, that brought that outside of a president? Yeah, uh, no. I mean, and, and again, Will Rogers being a humorist to have radios go silent, movie screens stop, Congress let out, Wall Street shut down. You know, that just tells you how, how big that he was. And that's why there's a thousand different directions that you can go with Will Rogers. And, you know, we can, we'll focus hopefully someday on writing too. You know, we have, there's a Will Rogers Humanitarian Award that's out there for, for newspaper writers. Um, you know, we could go into radio and, and honor celebrities in radio. I mean, there's just so many things that he did. Mm -hmm. So uh, the film festival just being one of those because at the end, near the end of his career, he was number one. Sure. In the, in the world of movies in 1934. In 1935, he only got beat by one person. That was a little girl named Shirley Temple. But he was still the number one male uh, movie star. So everybody knew about Will Rogers when he died in 35. Lee, you do know that there are youngsters out there growing up on the farm and on ranches right now who are so good with a rope that their dads and moms are wishing for a place for them to compete. Mm -hmm. Just something to think about. <laughs> they can twirl them, they can spin them, and they may only be nine or ten years old. I mean, there would be a golden opportunity. You know, to bring. I just listen to me go. <laughs> I know there is. There's so many different directions. Yeah. So you just kind of got to pick one and go for a little while, and then uh, and then pick another one and, and try it too. So, you bet. But well, that's, that's, I think that's his appeal, though. Why everyone from every walk of life likes Will Rogers, that knows about him. That's the museum and the film festival, I think, could appeal to everybody mm -hmm. because he was, there were so many aspects to him. You know, every he's, day, he's a guy for everybody. And every day when I drive in to tape this show, I pass the statue of Will on the park bench with the newspaper, hat pushed back, inevitably I'll go, Hey, Will. <laughs> yeah. It happens. It's out of the mouth, you know. And I know people look at me and think I'm nuts, talking to a you know bronze statue. Can't help it. All right. And when does the festival start? Again. Octo October 30th is our. We're having registration that day at the museum, and uh, then in the evening we're having a big dinner, big opening party out at the birthplace birthplace ranch in Ulaga. And then Thursday morning we start with lectures. Okay, we'll, and we're going to have more on that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're out of time. Thank you both, okay. and job well done.
guys. Good work. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this edition of Perspectives, and we'll see you next time.